first boat today, guys. Hey, so welcome back to the channel. It has officially been, well, it's the next day after I had my wisdom teeth done. And my face isn't too swollen anymore. So, I really don't look like a chipmunk too much anymore, which is good. <clears throat> there was a lot. We gotta take out the traverse. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we're gonna do a little bit of a fitment, I think, on the bike. Maybe just remove the gas tank and that on there. So, we're gonna need the space in the room. So, I'm gonna back the traverse out. It's nice, it's sunny. Sunny out. <clears throat> That's kind of a benefit. Shift with my uh, left hand, huh? That should be good. Nice backup camera. Not really supposed to do much. Kind of supposed to take it low key, so I think this is kind of considered low key. So put the keys back in the house. Here's what our house looks like. Pretty nice, huh? Got some chandeliers. So yeah. Dad did all that work in the house. We got a marble fireplace, chandeliers, cathedral ceiling. The works, man. <coughs> this is a bike off of a newer bike. It's a giant seat. Well, it's actually a pretty small seat, but it's off a giant bike. Giant was like my other bike to go to, like. If I didn't get like a GT bike for riding trails, I would have got a Giant probably. But I'm happy what I got with what I got. So we're gonna remove this gas tank. I ordered a four liter gas tank for the bike. So that'll be a nice big sucker to put on there. And then we might remove the air box. We'll see, I guess, depending on uh, how it's gonna fit. So. Yeah, I don't think the motor can be too angled. I mean, it was a little bit slanted like that. But I saw other people on YouTube, they had theirs angled like that as well. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm also, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not supposed to be doing too much lifting. But, you gotta put a fence up there. I thought there was a piece of cardboard over here. Could have swore there was. Hmm. Not that it matters, I guess. It's gonna set the motor on it. Piece of cardboard blew over there. That was for the motor. Not supposed to be doing uh, heavy lifting either. We're just gonna violate this order though, a little bit. Fun part will be modifying that son of a gun. So the grill should hold this motor. Just pick it up and put it over here. Oh yeah, no problem. Nice little gas tank. Fill gas. Here. Fuel stabilizer. Engine oil. No EG5. 
Okay. You must clean your foot the regular void or voids, won't you? Hmm. Nice, so we even got a warranty on this sucker. Excuse me. There's the gas tank. We could always use that <clears throat> as a spare fuel tank. But for right now. We're going to take it off. Oh, -ho, it was so close. So it might be metric. My guess is it probably is. So we're going to metric. This is a 10 millimeter. A favorite in metric, most definitely. We got our keyway zip tied to the shaft, so don't lose it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and come on. Oh, gotta make sure we're going the right way now. Wrong way. There we go. Easy peasy. It's clean though, this motor. I like it. <clears throat> I like it a lot. Quite the spark plug boot, that's for sure. That's the on off switch on the side. Yeah, it's a nice breezy day today. We did get some snow flurries. So. It's like, when is uh, spring actually going to be here? Usually this seems like Wisconsin just skips right over spring and goes right to summer. Same with fall. Skip over fall and go right to winter. <laughs> that must be the governor under there, that stuff. So it looks like something else might be holding this thing on. Oh, right there. It looks like... I think we'll do a 9 milli <clears throat> for that one. Oh, surprisingly, it's not even a 9. Must be an 8. Hopefully. Nice craftsman set. That must be where my throttle goes somewhere down there, throttle cable. Alright. Come on out. Sunny. There we go. <clears throat> we might do a different exhaust on this thing depending if it's too big or in the way. I guess we'll see for sure. Right. 
Yeah. Let me finish getting this uh, bolt out. I'll be back. Okay. We're back, guys. And we're just winding it out. This is a long one. Yep, she's loose. So we need a pliers to squeeze that hose clamp. <clears throat> so we're gonna grab that. Whoop. Needle nose. Nice thing about here is we got a lot more tools than in Florida to work on stuff. Jeez, swear I'm gonna kill myself twice in this stinking scooter. Stick that there so I don't do it. Wiggle you back. Stuck on that grommet under here. There we go. Now, just wiggle it out of these holes. Up you go. What's connected now? Oh, we got our fuel line connected. There's our grommet. Another grommet. Our fuel line is right there, so I'm gonna pop that off. It's under there. Another hose clamp. So I'll be back. So right down here is where I'm working. See where the pliers is? You can kind of see. Kind of wiggle that hose clamp back. And now, tricky part is going to be to pop that line off. So I'll be back, guys. So now here we got a flathead screwdriver, and we're simply just going to. Right there, we're just gonna stick it right in here. Just pop it. So, just to show you what you get, what we're doing. Okay, so we got it off. We pried on it from both sides, and yeah, it's off. So this is where we'll connect the new fuel hose to. Whoop! I kind of needed that. Kind of hard to do this and film at the same time. Slide you, kind sir, back over like so. That's good enough. FedEx, the people that drive like they're crazy. UPS, the people that drive like they're nuts. <laughs> okay. So we got this then too, that just must be a vent. Instructions. <clears throat> All right, so nice. Got our springs, some of these must be governor springs, I'm assuming. Wiring and then this fuel line runs down to right here. If you can see where it connects to the carburetor down there, so yeah. <clears throat> We're gonna take the motor, see if it, uh, excuse me, fits a little bit better now. So, we'll just prop the phone up here, so you guys can get a view of what we're doing. And then we might go and we'll remove some more stuff. The motor's actually not that big once we remove Okay, so, oh, there we go. Hey, look at that. It actually rides centered now. Well, actually rides uh, 
straight. See that? There's a scooter that likes to try to kill people. Look at that. Much better fitment. Wow. Don't even have to remove the airbox. Awesome. Now that's what I'm talking about. I think that's where we wind our throttle cable through. Oh no, right here. We wind it through here and pinch it, I think, and then through this screw. And then, I think so. Maybe not. We'll find it out how we do it. Oh, right there is another thing. So, hmm. Gonna have to remove this sticker probably. Just put a uh, 12 cc or 21 cc, hmm. or 22 cc. So the cops, you know. But yeah, wow, that is a big stinking difference. Wow. Get a good view all the way around. Let's see here. One second, guys. That is basically how it's gonna go, I think. I mean, the motor mount is not completely centered, but I think we can work with that. You know? Basically, I want the motor to be level, the carburetor to be level. So, good thing we got rid of that fuel tank. Here you are, senior bracket. <clears throat> so where does this ride at? Ooh, it rides about, right about the point that we need it to. Would you look at that? Doesn't even look like we're gonna have to modify the bracket. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, thank you. Wow, so if we can get it up like that, it looks as if we won't be able to mount the front though. Shoot, unless we can get that. We should be able to get it closer up to it. Here, we'll take this bracket. I'm going to see about extending this out farther because I think it's pretty much max to the smallest part it can get. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So we did this. Both are kind of overlapping a little bit. But we might just shave the bolts a little bit and see, see how it can extend out. So we got a lot more room to work with. So, <clears throat> we'll stick this bad boy back in there. Here. Okay. Like so. Give me a minute, guys. <clears throat> okay, guys, I'm back. Look at that. How does that look? Not too shabby, huh? I think it looks great, as a matter of fact. Wow. Looks great. I think so, anyways. Excuse me. So... Only minor thing is it's hitting a little there. I'm gonna see if I can get it a gap. All right, we got the motor mount extended as far as I can go now. See that? And look at that. Clears the frame perfectly. So, GT baby. That's the bike you use if you wanna do a 212C C build. Or maybe uh, F0 bike might work as well probably would they have some pretty good size frame gaps but other than that 
I'm gonna mark, do a few markings on there. I think we'll grab our riding sharpie. Mark the lot marker. Yeah, it looks great. So right there is where kind of get the idea. Wonder how well this one would work. That doesn't show up worth a toot. So right there. Right there. And right there. And we'll put one on the bottom too for good luck. So, yeah, looks good. That is for sure. Yeah, looks great. I said to put some washers right there. Where that gap is. Well, yeah, it's fully extended out. Clears the frame like a beam, man. So now I just gotta kind of get this over a little like that, like so, so that I can. Uh, mark the bolt holes all right see you guys in a bit okay guys so i think that's all for now i'm going to uh take a break well I'll take a break from recording that is and get to it the mountain and that so stay tuned for uh another video I'm gonna be dropping probably very 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 soon so peace out thanks for tuning in you know what to do Leave a like, please leave a like. Drop a comment down below. Appreciate the comments. And as always, I really do appreciate you subscribing to the channel too. So smash that subscribe button. Alright, peace out. This is going to be a beast.